Hi, this is Miguel Murphy, and I'm here with... Nigel. Nigel. Ni does Nigel have a last name? Yes, Nigel Dodds. Nigel... Dodds. Dodds. So Nigel um, is one of our first-year students that, you know, helped out at Children's Holiday, and I found that to be uh, your work ethic, specifically, to be very, very exemplary. So I wanted to highlight that. And um, you're a first-year student? Correct. What is your major? So my major is business administration. Business. So where do you see yourself uh, down the line? Well, down the line, I plan to finish up with my business administration and after that maybe into culinary. Culinary. Awesome. So where did that idea come from? From that idea came from a long line of a thought process, then a dream, then imagination, then hopefully reality someday. Okay. And I will we'll speak that into to existence. But let's lighten up the, the uh, conversation a bit <laughs> and um, talk about your involvement on campus. Can you share with us some of the groups and programs that you may be uh, part of and what, what, is, what has been uh, a highlight uh, in term positive, right, experience, so to speak, uh, being part of those programs or groups? Well, surely. The first one I was a part of Tropical Beat, ah. so the Caribbean, um, I would like to say organization, because they're well established. So mm -hmm. basically with them, you know, they are a collective group of young individuals who like to bring the kind of island vibe back into Miami-Dade College. Mm -hmm. The second one would be Minorities of the Future, another well established organization mm -hmm. that helps bring about young gentlemen into their organization. and kind of transform them into better men than, awesome, than awesome. they are. Um, the last one is none other than the TRIO program. The TRIO program keeps students on the right path in order to have a successful college degree in the sense of bringing outside environments into the, I guess, their facilities. Awesome, awesome. So um, can you share with us a little bit about how you learned about the Caribbean Students Association Tropical Beat? So with Tropical Beat, it was a hot and extremely sweaty day. Mm -hmm. And on my way to Club Rush, a girl just bumped into me and asked if I would like to partake in one of their meetings. So without giving it a second thought, I said, sure. <laughs> Sooner or later, I found out that it was more than just a club or an organization. It felt more as if it was a family, mm -hmm. and that really made me feel at home and a lot more comfortable in the college atmosphere mm -hmm. as my first year. And what about Minorities of the Future? How did you learn about that group? So that one is an even in more interesting story. For my, I believe the, it is the meeting, I do not know the name of it, mm -hmm. where your first years are established a meeting with the president of the college. So the uh, was it the first year convocation? Yes, that's the word. Thank in the you. Lehman Theater? Mm -hmm. Okay. And a gentleman bumped into me, and yes, again, another confrontation. And he kind of just looked at me for a while and said, would you like to follow me? I said, well, without another second thought, sure. We go over to a booth and let alone Minorities of the Future in bold print. And I quickly read it and it was Mario who gave me a synopsis mm -hmm. of it. I think he was at the booth and he told me just to give it a shot and let alone it felt like something that I'm supposed to resonate with and it does keep me on track most of the time. Awesome. So, I mean, you highlighted two key activities, right, that occur very early in the term and that's Club Rush. Mm -hmm. And I believe Club Rush and... Um, the first year convocation was held on the exact same day, correct? September twelfth. Mm -hmm. So that must been must have been a, a great day for you, All right? Two for one. Surely. And um, yes, because I I remember distinctly. Well, I actually went to Panama uh, that couple days before, maybe like five days before. Well, I returned the day before Club Rush, the evening before, and my students were like, "I thought you were not here." <laughs> uh, same thing for first year convocation. But I remember the atmosphere of Club Rush. Uh, there was a, uh, we have our own DJ in there. So the music, I, I would imagine, right, also resonated. Did you get a chance to go to the booth? Um, for the booth, yes, because I remember one of my friends telling me and reminding me 
if you sign up for these clubs, there is food afterwards. Mm -hmm. Of course, I am a food man. Mm. So I partook, but the only club that really stood out was Tropical Beat. Awesome. That was there that I was able to really get to know. Awesome. So I'm not going to share that I'm the advisor of Tropical Beat. Well, I am. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is not a biased interview. Um, just sharing that with the audience. Now, what about Trio? So for Trio, again, the same gentleman, none other than Mr. Daly, mm -hmm. meets me again and asks me, what are you doing after your classes? And I said, just waiting for a ride. And let alone, he says, follow me. So 1120 is right around the corner. And we open up the room door. And all these faces are just having a good conversation, having a great time. Another vibely and room full of energy. And, mm -hmm. of course, that gets me excited because I feel welcome. Mm -hmm. And not only that, when I stepped inside, I felt as if it was another part of my family that I was missing. So, of course, I have to partake in that. And once I found out I was in a, another well-founded program that really helps these students actually build something for themselves and get the experience of outside the classroom and what it's like to actually establish connections and not only that, just feel one with yourself mm -hmm. while maintaining a path towards a successful degree. Awesome. So let's talk about children's holiday. So oh, yes, the kids. <laughs> the, the kids, yes. And so that was uh, this past Saturday, December 8th, a tradition at the North Campus and at the college where we invite the community uh, to come on campus and, and acknowledge the, you know, the, the holiday season. And so we had the privilege of working together. Oh, right? yes, yes. That was at fun. the um, Holidays Around the World tent. And so that journey didn't start on the Saturday. It started the day before. Yes. Can you share a little bit about, you know, your experience? After a hard day's work of class, I ventured off into Trio, and let alone Miss McMail told me to meet um, minorities of the future over at the um, Christmas around the world, uh, holidays around the world tent, mm -hmm. so they can help set up. And helping set up, I see a lot of people. Just you can tell who's the the hardcore eventful planners and the ones who get done, things done last minute, but that's not a part of my story. But let alone, you see everyone that's dedicated and really wants to see mm -hmm. the smiles on kids' faces. So I, I thought I might partake in that. And the day of, it was a, a life-changing experience almost, but a lot of nostalgia mm -hmm. seeing Santa Claus come down from the <laughs> helicopter. You witnessed that. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I wouldn't miss it for the world. Awesome. But actually sitting down and seeing someone who's years and years younger than me for a change mm -hmm. is something that really sets in, you know. It's something that you can perceive that, oh, I am, look where I am now. Mm -hmm. I'm talking down to someone now instead of up. Mm -hmm. The mental, the mentality towards that was really an eye opener. So another impactful experience at the the holidays around. The yeah. World. So you took some leadership, and I must uh, give you some serious credit uh, <laughs> Thank you. for that, because uh, holidays around the world has uh, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah. Um, we did uh, St. Lucia, we did England, we did Italy. Mm -hmm. uh, and so, you know, and part of that was sort of setting our tables and sections up in a way that the, the children would do arts and craft, right? Correct. And so um, can you share a little bit about just the organization of uh, and staffing mm -hmm. from your perspective? And you came up with a brilliant idea because, you know, the day before what we were doing was organizing. We didn't even think about how we would have organized the table in sort of this kind of circle boxed in uh, situation. But we sort of evolved into that. Mm -hmm. But uh, your experience in terms of how you uh, saw things panning out and how we were able to set that up right in time. So... That morning, I really wanted to get the ball rolling because out of at an average workplace, you want to get stuff done and get per things prepared in order to close up shop. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, I took the initiative and actually dwelled upon what can we do in order to get 
will, let's say, for example, the product out faster, and not only that, be highly engaged in these kids that are coming in and out that might leave stuff that life mm -hmm. might me leave messes. And with <laughs> that being said, you have to really get the kids involved. And with that, you need your 100% concentration. You can't really dwell on things such as trash on the floor or the boxes or extra supplies that might tumble over. Mm -hmm. And you really have to be organized. So with that being said, everyone had a station that they really liked. So they just kind of went off adrift into those stations so naturally. What station did you ended up so I had committing to? I had Christmas from Germany, so mm -hmm. making gingerbread men out of styrofoam and glue and all the glitter and having the kids really go at it with the glitter. It was it was fun to watch because innocence at such a young age is you don't really get that when you're 18, 19, mm -hmm. 20 or anymore. You can't really capture that imagination with mm -hmm. all the things that a college student must uphold. So with that being said, it's kind of like a mini vacation mentally. And just seeing them make a mess, okay, fine, I can clean it up. But just seeing that their faces had a carefree expression and mm -hmm. seeing that the parents kind of pitched in as well, it really, it, it put some somewhere, you know. Mm -hmm. So you committed really to Christmas in Germany there. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, I committed to the Kwanzaa. Um, section and we had the seven principles we had um what was challenging initially for me was actually trying to create out of the paper plate right and oh. using the sticks and then the, the, can the seven candles correct um and we did have glue as well and uh that was interesting i have a whole video segment with um Taylor Daly on that, so you can check that one out. I believe I'm I'm featured in that video as well. If you, you look in the background, you'll see me. <laughs> mm, perhaps. Well, you have your own video now. So uh, next year, uh, are you going to recommit to the children's holiday? Most uh, are likely. Are going to encourage if it's, others to do that? If it's December eighth, one hundred percent, it should be a Sunday around next year. So yeah, okay. yeah it seems like an well, event that I would do. It'll be the Saturday. Um, usually like the second Saturday or so in uh, December. Oh, more or less, count me there. I'll, I, I will count on you to be there because I'm part <laughs> of that, that operations now. So as we wrap up, what high school did you attend? So I attended Doctors Charter School of Miami Shores. Awesome. And uh, for those students from Doctors uh, Charter who are going to be here next year, mm -hmm. what would you recommend, what advice would you give them in terms of Get in the because before you know it, summer is going to be here. We're going to roll through that orientation process. What would you advise them in terms of application, financial aid, uh, and getting that process in motion? So, with that process in motion, I advise all my Hawk members to establish a kind of a group chat with anyone that is attending Miami Dade College. It can only be for one semester. The more of you guys there are, the greater the brain power would be. And not only that, feel free to get in touch with me or anyone else who attend Miami-Dade College that is also a Hawk member. So, yeah. Very, very good advice. So there you have it. That's a unique one um, in all of the, you know, there's a lot, you know, we work with a lot of schools and uh, whether it's uh, the Vikings or the Chiefs, mm. right, or the Chargers or the Pioneers, uh, you know, a lot have given some advice, but that's a, a pretty high impact one, I, I would say. Thank so you. anything that you want to leave? Uh, any positive experiences that you had in your first semester? A positive experience, what I would have to say is the connectivity. Just really aesthetically working with other people that act different than you, that might strike a conversation different than you. All the new experiences really get you going, you know. And with business administration, you really have to work on your social skills. And with being involved and being engaged with a lot of people that are not from the same neighborhood really is impactful. And that's really brightened up most of my days here at Miami Dade College. Awesome. And I can see that. Mm -hmm. Very, very connected guy. So, folks, here you have it, um, Mr. Dodds, Correct. Nigel Dodds. And do you want to shout out your advisor? Shout out to Miss Fernandez. You did an excellent job. Even though things were last minute, I appreciate it. And you helped me, um, yeah, just get started with everything. And I really do appreciate that. Without you, I wouldn't be here. 
Awesome. So thank you for sharing those words. My pleasure. And folks, uh, till next time, at murphy3 at mdc.edu.